Good morning. It's January 18, 2010. This is Lisa Salberg, CEO and founder of the Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Association, with a message regarding some of the activities that you've heard in the news over the past couple of days regarding the death of two athletes. Jerome Lewis of Southern Indiana University, a basketball player, died suddenly at the age of 21, and Gaines Adams, a player for the Chicago Bears, died suddenly at the age of 26, within 36 hours of each other. These two deaths have brought to the attention of much of the sports-directed media the prevalence of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in the young population. I wanted to take a moment to get some facts out there about what HCM is and isn't. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a genetic heart disease that affects 1 in 500 people. It affects the heart by causing the heart to become thick and impeding its ability to beat properly at all times. It is not an athlete's heart. Athlete's heart is a benign condition that is caused by somebody exercising extensively. Athlete's heart does not cause sudden cardiac arrest. The term enlarged heart can be used to describe the HCM heart, but it's really not an enlarged heart. It's really a thickened heart. And understanding the differences might be a bit of a nuance, but there are differences between an enlarged heart and HCM as a disease state. Having said this, what do we need to do to raise awareness to stop these deaths from occurring? Number one, people need to be aware of the signs and symptoms of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It can cause shortness of breath with exercise, fatigue, palpitations, chest pain, dizziness, fainting, or it could cause no symptoms at all. Within the athletic community, we have to look at things very differently. Recreational athletics, high school level athletics, college level athletics, and professional athletics all have to be looked at very differently in terms of what are we going to do to screen these hearts. In the young population, we're talking 10 to 20 million children needing pre-participation screening physicals. You want to look for hints like family history of sudden cardiac arrest under the age of 50, children who complain of shortness of breath, and move those kids on to ECGs and echocardiograms for identification to make sure that they are safe or have something that needs to be taken care of. At the high school level, we might want to get more specific, but still we have millions of children who are playing at that level, so we need that PPE form, which is approved by the American Heart Association. Uh, there's 12 guidelines that we look for to look for high risk of sudden cardiac arrest. We want to make sure that we're asking all those questions and that children who answer questions to the affirmative are getting at least basic cardiovascular evaluations, starting with an ECG then moving to an echocardiogram. At the collegiate and professional level, we're dealing with a slightly different situation. The numbers are smaller, the funding is greater, and we should be doing ECGs and echocardiograms on this group of athletes, the college level and the professional level. I have a message to professional sports franchises and players associations. There are things that are more important than a contract. Your life is more important than a contract. We want to make sure you're safe, that you enjoy your career, but we don't want you to play with a disease that could cause a catastrophic outcome, leaving your family alone. We want you to be safe. So learn more about HCM at 4HCM.org. Help the HCMA raise money, raise awareness, advocate on behalf of people who have this condition. I am one of them. And let's get out there and take these two young men who we lost and let's let them tell their story. And if their deaths are determined to be from hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, let it not be in vain. Let something change because of that. I know my sister's death in 1995 has changed the lives of lots of people. Um, I wish it was her life that changed as much. Unfortunately, sometimes lessons come too late. So please learn more about HCM at 4HCM.org. And hopefully someday we will end sudden cardiac arrest from hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Thank you.